This lesson is going to be outlining the diagram of a tenor pan, and I just wanted to make a few notes about it before we start. If you are playing on a low D tenor pan, there will be some slight modifications from what I'm talking about in the diagram, as it is based off of the low C tenor pan, but the modification is very, very small, and you'll see how it's extremely similar. Diagram of a tenor steel pan. We're going to take a look at the note setup. So one thing to just be aware of is it is called a tenor pan, traditionally, in Trinidad, um, but it can also be called lead pan or soprano pan. It actually has a soprano range as opposed to a tenor range. You may note that your lowest note is a C, and you would have a C tenor pan, or you might have D as your lowest note, in which case your pan is called a low D tenor. If you'll take a notice, find that C4 on the diagram, and if you go straight up from that C, you will also see three of them in a row. So you've got the next octave C5 and the next octave C6. If you go to the next note to the right, G4, you will also see a straight line to G5. Now in this case, there's not a third G. So some of these notes are going to have three. Some of the notes are only going to have two octaves. If you look at D4 and then look in a straight line, next you'll have D5 and then D6. And you can see on that staff at the bottom how those correspond to which notes on the staff to play. As you're learning how to play, definitely reference the staff so you know which C you're playing, for instance, um, since there's three of them. The next thing to look at is how the notes are set up chromatically. So, for instance, C4 to C sharp 4 is a chromatic movement. So, whenever there's a half step, it's a chromatic movement. So C4 to C sharp 4 is directly across the pan, straight line. And what's kind of interesting is then you can go in a straight line again, just a little bit to the right, or actually counterclockwise, and you're going to get to your next half step chromatic, which would be D4. And then again, if you just shift that line, across the pan again, now you're going to get E flat 4. One other thing to point out is, go back to your C4, the next note that comes in a scale would be D4. And we get there by jumping over one note. So we actually are jumping over that G. So C4 to D4 is jumping over a note. D to E4 is jumping over a note. So you can kind of get used to that setup as well, that jumping over a note um, if we're doing um, just a whole step, if you're familiar with whole steps.